Hello guys, this is my new tutorial for scripts and extensions in After Effects. I'm just gonna cover like the most necessary scripts and extensions you need for like anime editing and I'm not gonna cover any like stupid stuff. I'm just gonna like show you the ones that I use and that are mainly used for any style and you basically only need these I have some like stupid ones in here too like this one label me or it's not it's not here right now but like it's at the top but still I'm gonna show you everything um, and we're gonna start off here with stat tracker this is a simple extension, honestly, like, it's not even useful. It just shows you how long you've been on this project file. And I've been 10 hours here right now, I don't know. Um, I wanted to do this tutorial in the morning, but like, I'm only doing it now, so I've been just AFKing on this project file. You can click on stats. It shows you all the data, like, total crashes, uh, whatever. Like it's, it's just, it's just for no reason, I guess. Like it's just here. Next one is easy layers. There's a lot of these. Um, I'm like, mine is this right now. Easy layers by Lanky Lucius. I don't know where I got this from. I think it was a discord server that is deleted now, but it's not a problem. Like. There's so many of these. I'm gonna link you one from a friend in the description. It's like even better than this, but I don't know. I, I just like using this one. And I'm too lazy, honestly, to in install the other one. But yeah, <clears throat> that's it, basically. You can click on your layer, adjustment layer, like it just creates a layer that's the same length as your clip. You, uh, that you've selected, you can click on null, it creates a null, and then it puts motion tile on your clip. Like, you can delete it again, it's just a nice thing, and it auto parents the clip. You can create a solid with this too. I guess it's just like, it's it's just useful. I don't know what Twixer does or these other buttons. I don't I don't need more than adjustment layer null and solid. So yeah, the rest is basically useless for me. But this is super, this super like this is crazy. This is a crazy uh, script. Everyone needs this. And it just you're so you're just so much more efficient with this one. Then next I have label me at the bottom left it's so useless actually but it just looks cool and you can like select your uh, layer and your colors like it's just it's so stupid but like i just like it i don't know sometimes uh, when i when i'm working on my projects i'll just i just do this to like group my scenes and stuff into different colors so that I know what kind of scene it is or whatever, you know. And yeah, that's basically it with these. Now we get to a really important one. It's flow. It's an extension, I think now. It was a it, it was a script back in the days, like back one year ago, but now it's an extension. And it basically allows you to select your keyframes and just like you don't have to go into the graph editor or you don't have to press F9 to easy ease them. You can like just set your keyframes, do your graph here and click apply and it automatically does everything for you. You can also save your presets or use your like there's auto there's default presets i don't like them 
I just do my own. And I think you can... Yeah, Neptune combo. I don't know. I tried to install this, I think. You can somehow install other uh, presets too. This is just uh, like, this is just so good. You don't have to click this uh, ugly ass button all the time. I mean, yeah, it's just fine. It's just nice. Um, Next one is this one, Uvu 2X Pro. I can't believe I said that, but yeah. Um, This one, what this one does is you can select your clip and just say upscale or interpolate. It's just fucking flow frames and topaz integrated into After Effects. And it's super fast. I like it. You can regroup your uh, keyframes with this one. Fucking sequence your things. Um, detect dead frames. I don't know if this is good. I don't, I don't even want to try it. Because like, I'm... If you're too lazy to delete all the dead frames, just don't edit. Um, Precompose is nice. Twixter, like, and you you even have a graph editor in here too. Oh fuck. Yeah, so this script is really nice. You can set all the settings um, and you can fucking track your stats with it. So basically what what I always do is like when I cut out all the clips I need I first thing I do is just upscale them because it renders and basically converts your super compre uh, super compressed file into a PNG sequence and it's even upscaled so it's going to run way better on After Effects and it's going to look nicer so it's a it's fucking win win in every case. Uh, these are my settings, by the way: upscaling, as again, an interpolation model, Arifa Plus. I don't know what this means, but it's like it's just better. <laughs> and interpolation is the same. You can fucking select it, I guess. Fucking say 8x. It's it's not gonna take so long. I mean, I have a good GPU, so. But like, it's still gonna be fast. And, well, there's no fucking movement in this clip, so that's my bad. But you get the point. This is fucking interpolated now. And, yeah. This was that. Now we go to the anime scripter. This is really, like, similar to Uvo 2X. Um, as far as I know, the interpolation model and upscale models on this one are way better than Uvo 2X. They're newer. But this one is, like, super slow. And I don't know why. I, I'm gonna, like, show you. Pre-render. It does the, th uh, the same thing, it, does, it doesn't do a PNG sequence now, but it does uh, AVI out of it. And then once you pre-rendered, you can basically select the clip and say interpolate. Now it's gonna open this weird fucking window, and it's gonna take like 5 years to fucking interpolate. I'm... I'm like, I downloaded this shit like five times already. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. If it does work for you, good. Like, mm, nice for you, I guess. But it just doesn't work so good for me. So, I don't like this one. Uh, like, the interpolation and stuff in here. But what I like about this uh, script is the extras. You can fucking say, uh, get anime video. It opens this thing and you can say enter the anime you wish to download fucking I don't know um, we're gonna install cyberpunk edge runners or fucking Mao I don't know you're you're just gonna say two um, oh it's with the it's with the arrow keys you're gonna say two 
and then it says which episode and then you're gonna say i don't know just the one you want and then it's gonna fucking download and now we can wait like skip and now you have it you fucking have the whole episode in your timeline now <laughs> so yeah that's cool you can paste youtube links in here and just download them directly into your uh, thing into your timeline too extract depth map i love this feature i really love this feature um you can just select your clip it's gonna open yeah, if I'm not, if I wasn't fucking retarded, it will work, but I don't know why it's not working now, because I'm fucking recording. Um, but like, it should work normally. It's gonna open the window. And it's gonna create a depth map. Like, it's bugged right now because uh, I have the black bars from the movie. But like, this is so sick. You can zoom in, bro. And just have the depth map. Like, this is so cool. You can do nice uh, effects with it. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Um, make it like this. Camera lens blur, I guess. And select your depth map. And now you can like, you know... I don't even, okay, you can like focal this, you can just like, you get the point, you get the point, you, you see what you see, so yeah, that's that, remove background is cool too, auto cut clips, it just like, cuts all the clips in a episode or whatever you have, Offline mode, I don't know what the fuck that is. Toolbox, I think this is coming new. This is also just like easy layers, but you have an additional, po uh, like you, you have to switch the tabs. I don't like this, but you can like say purge cache and it purges all the cache like you've seen here. And that's it with this script. Now, these were like the most important ones, I guess. Uh, the next two aren't that like as important. This one, MoGraph A, it's an old version of it, but like I don't even know what I have to do here. I'm not, I don't use MoGraph. I don't do MoGraph, but like I think this is really nice for the people that do MoGraph. So. There's way more for uh, motion graphics because like After Effects is mainly used for motion graphics. So yeah, if you're if you're a MoGraph editor, you're gonna have fun with scripts. I'm gonna link you MoGraph in the description. And now this one is Faster Time Remap by Painus. I don't know. I didn't use this in a long time anymore. But like when I Twixter. Um, you can like just do all the keyframes in time remap and you can say stretch proper properties then it puts like everything in the beginning and like adapt layer size it doesn't work now because it's fucking the scale and not the time remap but like I think you get the point and yeah, that's basically it with all the scripts I got. No, it's not. Um, FX console, if you don't have this, get it right now. It's just, you just select your clip or your layer, whatever. Fucking, and just press control and space. Like, just these two buttons. And then you get this one and you can say camera lens blur. And then you get like the effect. You can also take screenshots with it. Like fucking in your gallery. You have everything then. Oh, this is the old. Yeah, whatever. Um, 
And that's basically it. Don't forget to fucking subscribe to this channel. It's the best channel in the world. Look at all these tutorials in the in such short amount of time. Um, subscribe to me, by the way. It's the best channel too. Like, these two channels are the best channels in the world. Um, and join Serenity for fucking questions and feedback and much more stuff. Uh, we have all the resources you need here. I forgot where the channel is. Here. You have everything in here, bro. Everything you need is on this fucking server. Um, we have so much stuff. You're just gonna enjoy the fucking server. You're gonna thank yourself that you click the join button. And that's basically it with the tutorial. Um, see you in the next one, I guess.